girl. Um, <laughs> Should I start again? Start again, yeah. I am Josie Laurie Millard, and I'm 20 years old. <laughs> Well, I spend 90% of my time either hungry or tired because everything I'm into is, you know, it's physical activity now. Yeah, it can be tiring having all of these sort of sports on at the go at once, but really it's what I love and it's my mental medicine um, more than anything else, really. Uh, I think. I have sort of gained a network of really good people, sort of quite empowering groups, women especially. So I mean, things feel a lot better than they did a few years ago when I was sort of a teen and I thought, oh, this is weird, like, I'm doing all the stuff that guys do and it's not totally accepted and I don't really fit in entirely. I, and at the same time, I didn't care, but... It's definitely a lot different now. Um, I didn't really notice a difference of being a girl um, skating until I went to skate parks. So when we were skating street, it was kind of just like they happened to be boys and I happened to be a girl, and that was never sort of in my brain at all. But it was when I got a little bit older and started going to skate parks a lot more. And I was also, you know, I'd gone through puberty and I was more feminine, etc. I thought, oh my goodness, this is weird. People are like looking at me and there's no other girls and this is really strange. And yeah, it was a bit weird. Um, when I was younger, I remember Lucy Adams taking me to like a few girls skate events seeing other girls thinking, oh my god, like, there are other girls skating, this is insane, this is, like, crazy, and that's the only time you'd see other girls skating at these special events. 445, winter number one, Serafina and Tyra. <laughs> Okay, so I grew up in Brighton. I've lived here for 90% of my life, aside from a few years in Brazil as a kid. My dad's pretty much like my best friend, basically. Um, it's really cool. It's really cool to have such a bond and friendship with my dad. It's only really been in the past three or four years that we've become super, super close. Right, so we're going in. Urban exploration, I suppose, we kind of found together because I suppose it started off going off to like really local ones that we'd seen and slowly we kind of developed a way of, of just working really well so that's the thing that's really cool it's like one of my favorite bits about urban exploring is finding the entrance and finding an entry point my dad and i we've abseiled into places you know like come in through skylights and crawled through tiny spaces and peeled back I don't know, God knows how many wooden boards to get into these places, but that's that's kind of my favourite bit, really. I luckily have grown up in that sort of age where Instagram and sort of Facebook and things like that started to come in when I was a teenager, so I. I had those years before of kind of, it didn't, it wasn't really a thing. Well, it's been both a blessing and also like the worst thing on earth. Um, Cause I think it, it's lovely to have sort of daily inspiration 
um, and to be able to sort of keep in touch with people, view what other people are doing and gain ideas and stuff from that. But it can also influence in the, the most horrendous way. I mean, I suppose, for example, like uh, thinking of uh, women in particular here, but things like the Kardashians, yeah, I don't know. That kind of culture is pushed on social media and stuff, and I think that's obviously definitely not a positive. There is an increase in this youth culture and ideas that surround sort of what women should be like, and sometimes that's not really an image that I think is fair or at all accurate, really. But, but, but saying that, there is also, there's definitely been like an influx in a brand showing women in a, in a strong manner, but hmm, I don't know, it's like a split, it's a total split, uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's a hard one. Well I suppose, future plans, I'd like to have sort of a lifetime of many different careers. I just have so many ideas, I mean, stunt acting is something I'm super interested in. I do need to be a black belt, though, in some form of martial art, and I'm certainly not yet. Yeah, I think, it, it, I mean, stunt acting is really great because it's something I can sort of chip away at, um, developing my skills whilst doing all my other stuff, like skateboarding and motorbiking, etc. Thank you.